Greetings and peace be unto you, each and every one of you. This is the inspiration. This is episode one of the inspiration show. Today, my topic will be where do we go wrong? And basically, I'm going to be covering three points as pretty much you stick around with me. That's what's going to be for most of the time. It's going to be three points I'm going to be covering. I'm going to be covering either three points, maybe four sometimes, but for the most part, three points. I think that's enough to get out what I'm trying to say. And I don't want to give you all too much at once because I uh, need to save a little bit because I want to keep hitting you with shows pretty much at a minimum of one a week. Every now and then I might throw in an extra bonus thing or something or whatever it have you, but for the most part, it's gonna mostly be one show a week. Uh, before I get into everything, let me tell you, today was a rough trying day today. And um, had to go through a lot. I didn't think I was gonna get the show off the ground today. Because for the most part, uh, it's really had a lot going on. I cut the promo today and literally did the show. I'm doing the show right now all in one one day. Not impossible. I like to be busy. It's all right. I feel it was by design, by divine purpose to get this word to you today. No, I'm not going to preach. That's not my caliber, my lane of things. But I got some people that do preach. And as time goes along, you're going to see I got friends all over, different types of friends in different places. I know reverends. I know gangsters. <laughs> I know uh, athletes. Uh, I would say I know a rapper. I do. If I get him on the show, we'll see what happens. But um, I'm, I, my plan is... Oh, personal trainers, bodybuilders, everybody. My plan is to get an interview with each of these types of people so you can see where their view is on certain things. I even know atheists. Now, I'm thinking of... I may even have the atheists and the revenue on the same show or I may do separate shows so you can clearly see each person's point of view and where they're coming from because I believe if I do if I have both of them on the same show it may turn out to be ugly because they're going to go back and forth too much uh, you know debating back and forth we don't need that we're trying to get the message out and the point across we don't need all this debating back and forth that's not what I'm trying to do. Anyway, with that said, and I feel like I'm looking kind of across to the side here. I don't know. It's my first time really. I've recorded things before, but like I said, I'm not in my regular element. I'm in my car. This was not my plan at all, but I had a feeling I was going to run into some problems. So I had to take the show on the road. So I took my superhero cape with me, basically, just in case. And uh, I took my recording with me, which is my phone. I'm doing this on the phone. And as time goes along, hopefully things get better and better. I plan on getting a microphone, better recording equipment, hopefully. And the message will come to you clearer. And hopefully I get better and better topics as we go on. So um, let's get into it. Okay, like I said, where do we go wrong? That's our uh, main topic there. And our first point is this, what is the disconnection? The disconnection between this generation and the last generation. Now, I'm from the 70s, 80s baby, whatever you want to call it. And um, primarily my generation growing up, we weren't no suckers and we weren't bad. But we was a little, we was a little work. No, we we was some work. We was some work. But what I can say is, we were starving for knowledge. And I would say that as a whole, my generation was starving for knowledge. And if I can't speak for everybody, I can definitely speak for myself, because I was always wanting to learn 
I always wanted to, I call it stealing knowledge, you know, because it wasn't like, well, actually, I'm wrong. I'm not going to say that. I was going to say it wasn't like someone actually sat me down and said, listen, this is this is that. But they kind of did do that to me. But my willingness to learn and my willingness to grasp everything was unsurmountable. I, I wanted to know everything. I was like, teach me. You know, I, I wasn't like, it seems like nowadays that the youth today, I don't, I want, I don't really want to say that they don't want to learn and they don't want to know things, but they're very closed. They're very closed to any type of uh, what you call it. I'm trying to get a word there. Uh, criticism. They don't want to hear any type of like. They don't want. They don't want your concern. They don't want your positive or negative feedback. They don't care. They're like, don't tell me nothing. You know, I got this. And clearly, they don't got it. The other day, I was talking with someone, and I said, no, I wonder if if I had, if we had, because we're around the same age, if we had the technology that's around today. Back in the 90s. Yeah, I'll say just the 90s. If we had just just the Apple Mac computer back in the 90s. Just that. Or not even say just that. Just a lot of different technology. But cell phones and all the stuff that's just around today. Would it be a distraction? Or would it be an enhancement? Now, some people say, Oh, well... You know, you can't say that because you was young back then and doing stupid things. So you pretty much would probably did the same thing these guys are doing now. I don't agree with that. Because like I said, we were different. We had our things to distract us, but it didn't fully distract us. Now, like I said, I can speak for myself, can't speak for everybody. I had Nintendo. I had PlayStation, the first one or whatever like that back then. Mike Tyson punch out and all that stuff like that. Video games, um, toys. I had plenty of distractions, but I didn't let the distractions distract me. You know, I played ball just about every day. Play basketball. I played different sports, but basketball kind of was what I really played the most. I would say, but actually, baseball was my number one love. Some people that know me closely know that. That was my first love. And then basketball. And football, so forth, whatever like that. But, um, either way, I was always serious about my stuff. And I was, I, I hate to fail. That's one thing. And I hate to, I don't like to get in trouble. So, um, I try to tell my daughters. My daughters are into a lot of things. They're like into all types of um, activities and things like that. I didn't have all that growing up. The only activity I did was sports. And I was never on, I never was on a team, at least not an organized school team or anything like that. The only team I ever played for was I played street ball. And I played maybe one year, I think. Something like that. And didn't even win no trophy. <laughs> but whatever, I played for one team. But, that's the thing. My activity was was sports, playing basketball. That was my activity every day or every other day. However often I did it. But main thing I did, though, I came home from school. I got my homework knocked out. And then I did that. See, kids today, they do everything backwards. They want to do everything backwards. They want, they want to eat dessert and then eat dinner. Can't do it like that. It don't even make sense. So basically you're telling me you're gonna be in school, you're gonna come home from school, instead of getting that homework knocked out of the way, so you can go outside and do, or if you don't wanna go outside, if you just wanna, you know, play video games or whatever else it is that you wanna do, have your free time. You rather get your free time first and then come home and be tired or whatever, or be tired after doing all that, 
And then now you gotta do your homework. Now you gotta stay home, stay up, or whatever, until midnight, eleven o'clock at night, whatever it takes to, uh, you know, whatever time that is to finish, complete your task. Why would you do that? I'm gonna tell you, and this ain't a secret. Again, people that know me closely know this. I hate school. I don't dislike school. I hate school. And it's not like I hate school because of so much about what they're teaching or whatever like that. I just, I just don't dig it. I never did. College, everything, co everything. I hate it all. And I'm going to tell you, I felt like, or I feel like, I learned more out of school than I did in school. I learned the necessary things to learn in school. But other than that, I learned more through research. And I learned more through word of mouth. I learned more through reading things. That's how I learned things. School didn't teach me all that stuff. And sadly, right now, school is even worse. The kids aren't learning anything in school. Uh, for instance, my daughter, she was reading, um, or they were studying roots. And the uh, her teacher, her social studies teacher sends me an email stating that uh, they're gonna be going over roots. And I'm like, oh, great. And he says, the new version. And I'm like, what do you mean the new version? What's wrong with the regular version? There's nothing wrong with that version. People need to see it like it is. Don't try to, don't try to water down roots. Don't try to water down history. Don't try to water down real history. You know, and uh, he's like, oh, it, yeah, it's a little different, but um, I do go back and forth to the old stuff a little bit. And I'm like, okay, yeah, copy that. But uh, I will make sure she definitely sees both sides of the coin on that because that was a brutal and painful time in history. And people need to know they didn't even know about that. They need to be educated on that. You can't just be like, okay, well, let's doll this thing up. You know, it's a treat, treat like it's a movie. It is a TV series, but it is a TV series that was told, telling the truth. And will still tell the truth today, depending upon how it's presented. You can't um, try to water it down and feed the masses lies, because that's not right. But um, back to what I was saying about the disconnect. So basically, like they um, they just feel like it's almost like they don't want to adapt to anything that the old heads got to say. Cause now I'm considered an old head, so hey, I'm perfectly fine with that. My thing is when I start feeling like an old head, then I'll put the crown on. But right now I feel pretty good. You know I'm not. Uh, in the shape I'd like to be, but I'm decent enough. You know, I, I uh, survived a traumatic injury, and um, I'm still healing from it. But um, I'm pretty good. I would say I'm healing pretty good. I'm doing all right for myself. Um, other than that, yeah, this this main disconnect is like it's the commun communication is one of the big things that is causing disconnect. Because, see, when I would do things as, as a, young, a young teenager, young child. See, my uncle was like my role model. Well, was my, my uncle was my role model. My father was not 100% present in my life. He would come around here and there. I'd see him here, you know, coming and going. But my uncle was who I grew up with. I had two uncles, actually, but... My uncle had lived with me because I have another uncle that lives in the South. This uncle I'm speaking of has passed away actually last year. Now, he put so much knowledge in me in the amount, a little bit of the amount of time that we spent together on earth. He gave me enough knowledge that I can share it. Besides that, whatever I don't have enough from him to share, I can build on from just a little seeds planted that I can now grow and spread so 
Anytime I had a question about anything, he always 